Hello. Tonight I'm going to show you the basics of how to develop with Bears Ham. I prefer to use PHP Storm, but you can use any IDE or any text editor, whatever your desire is. Let me close this down. Tabs. So this is the main program. Well, we call it the core. And it's made up of this base directory here, which is the actual runtime that uh, all the bins and all the apps and everything goes into. It's made up the core, which is the engine of Bearsamp. And then this binary bin here, you ignore that. That's where when you do a compile or actually it's an ant build, whatever you want to call it, that's where the files go into. So it'll look like this. So you go to my development. This is where all the repos are that we have. And for Bears Amp, the build folder is here. You go into bin. You've got the releases, which is the full compiles that are ready to be published uh, onto uh, GitHub. And then you've got the temps. And this can be a release. Like in this case, here's the actual release. This is what the Bears Amp program looks like. And this is, we use it mainly for local testing, but it's how the program is built from this. Okay? So that's that part. Now, when you go to do a build, there are three kinds. You have Ant Build Light. Ant build basic, ant build full, and if you say ant build release, it'll build all three different versions. And the only difference between the versions is how many modules are pre installed. That's the only difference between them. Um, build full is the one that most people should use, and it's the full application. All right, the project is made up of a total of 32. I'm sorry, 35 repos. Three of them are archived. One of them is a new one that we're currently working on, and that's Mail Pit. We're trying to switch from Mail Hog to Mail Pit because Mail Hog is no longer being developed. Hasn't been for over two years. Um, so it's way out of date. Doesn't work with PHP 8 Plus. Mail Pit does. And so we're trying to switch over that. We're running into some problems. Um, but that's what we're trying to do. So let's say you wanted to work on Mail Pit. <clears throat> you would need three repos. You would need the prerequisites. This is the only installed thing that has to be installed um, in order to use Bearsamp. And all that is is your Visual C Plus runtimes. That's all it is. Okay, so you would need that unless you already have these three. All right. So you need prerequisites. That is a win installable file. You need the dev repo. The dev repo contains all of the logic that is used when you're doing a build. All right. And then you would need the module that you want. By default, I have instructions here on exactly how to do the build. So where you have div and then bears amp all right it tells you exactly how to do that the build path by default is bears amp build but it'll go wherever your base project is so wherever your base repo is is where it'll be all right and you can find these instructions in the dev repo Okay, it's relatively straightforward. So once you've downloaded your three repos, you'll come up with something that looks like this. Again, this one is your logic for the, the uh, builds. It contains all the build XMLs, all the handshaking, everything that happens when you do an ant build. And then here's your main program. This folder here is built whenever you're working on a module 
all your modules come in here just like before you've got your temps and here's where we actually built the mail pit uh, module you've got your bins which is the actual release okay and that's that's what a module looks like if you're working on bears amp repo itself then again it's under bears amp but it's in bin bin is never included with the release so if we look here this bin is not the same as the other bin because this is inside of base that's that's the difference so if you come here to bears amp you've got base which has your bin it's not this bin this bin is not included in the repo it's local only so once you've got something you want to do now if you want to do a module you say ant uh, ant space release and then the mo the version number so for example if I'm gonna work on mail pit I would say ant space I would go to terminal and I would say ant release and it's going to ask me if I want every release that's inside here which in this case is only mail pit 1.1.5 which must match this number here or if I want just a specific version and so I can say 1.1.5 and it'll start building it okay that's how you build a module if you're going to build bears amp itself then you would tell it which kind of build in this case we'll just do a light one so it's very quick <clears throat> it takes two minutes for the light version it'll go through here and the first thing it's going to do is it's going to delete what's in the bin folder okay that's the first thing it's going to do and then it's going to start building it it's copying all the files that make up the program itself here it's putting the programs together into an installable well it's not installed you just drop it it's completely portable there's no install wherever you put it is where it's going to run and now it's created the version and now it's going to compress it into what goes into this release folder here this is what it's creating right now is doing the compressing and that's what takes the longest so you need three parts you need to pre pre-install the prerequisites package which contains the visual c++ code because this is a windows program so it needs that to run then you download the dev repo which is the engine for the build and then you download the module or repo whichever you want to call it for the part you're trying to build if you're trying to build PHP you download module dash PHP repo if you're trying to build the main program itself which will go and get all those different things and pull them together then you download the bears amp repo that's the only three parts that you need if you're doing the bears amp repo this file here becomes the bears amp comp which is the file that they use to control the program uh, if they want to use mail pit 1.1.5 they put that here if they want to use 1.1.3 they would put that here of course it would have to exist in the bin folder already so you'd have base mail pit and then there'd be a version here um, like we can look at mysql these versions are versions we want to include in the release but they're not built uh, because they already exist all right that's what these here you can see these fully exist already so for example if we wanted to uh, run mysql 8.0.30 and that was the latest all right which it is right here then we wouldn't put that in here we would leave it out and then it would go and fetch it during the build time and bring it in if we didn't want to include any older versions in our actual release of bears amp 
then we would remove them from here. Okay? So these are the ones that are natively supported from the get-go. They're already included when you download it. They're ready to rock and roll. Um, let's see, what else? Um, let's go into core. Let's see, where did core go? Base, core. Let's go to core. It requires two parts of Windows to be able to run. NSSM and WinBinder. Those two are what allows it to actually be a Windows program. And that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Join our dev team or our admin team. Either one, we'd love to have you. Our teams are, let's see, we have a special repo for developers and admins. And that's this one here. It tells you a lot about what you might want to know about the program, what we use. Uh, there is one called Modules Untouched. This is the raw source for every single thing that we make. So, for example, going to Mail Pit tells you where to get the files. I gotta change this. It says where to get the files for Mail Pit. We'll look at Mail Hog, which is the one we're changing out. So, this is the Mail Hog repo. And so, if we wanted the latest Windows 64 release, we would grab this file and then we would go and make a release of that file okay here you can see mail pit it's here all right so this is the source for mail pit and then we would go into the module release properties and we would put that version here and that link to that and that's used during build time to get the latest version that's what determines all that and the readme explains pretty much all that and tells you where to go to get everything that's pretty much everything in a little quick three minute shot uh, again if you have any questions feel free to ask us we do have our website at bearsamp.com rest in peace Queen Elizabeth and uh, again it lists all the modules we have some documentation mainly in the FAQ section and we have them under development troubleshooting config uh, it we try to explain everything and if we're missing something we're happy to add it just let us know um, discussions we have a discussion section all right and that's pretty much everything hope that helps thank you